Now for the final step of Hangman, we're going to have you able to lose. It's only sort of the final step because you're going to finish this on your own. I have created Hangman files where you can see that they are moving incrementally to draw your Hangman. I'm going to leave that to you to create an array to hold those. But we've added a P image Hangman with a string image hang. So your clue is instead of having a string, you're going to have an array of strings with the correct name for each of those files here. So we've added that. We've added number wrong. And we've added a character called wrong to hold the wrong letters. Um, we've had it included a string wrong answers to display the incorrect guesses. I think it's helpful to play to know what you've already guessed. Um, in setup, we add the array to hold the wrong letters. 11 is where you lose, so wrong equals new care 11. We did declare it at the top so it would be global. And then we just initialize each one to a star. It makes it easy to see what you have left. So in void draw, each time we redraw it, I set the wrong answers to guessed letters. And then we'll refresh rebuild the wrong answers list that's going to get updated each time somebody guesses wrong. We're displaying wrong answers at the bottom. I've also added the spot to display the hangman image. And so this you will convert to use an array. So it would be, you're going to figure that out where you're going to load an image it would be image hang. You'd want an array for this, so it would be with an index. So you'd load the image each time for hangman. You'll load a new image, incrementing through based on how many they have wrong. You can use that as your index. So when we do the key pressed, that hasn't changed at all. But in play, we have added, and I was just testing this because I had a bracket error. Um, I was having it show me if it, they guessed right or not, so I was making sure I was getting that far. You want to make sure that you write this outside of the for loop. And I've changed in here, I've added a flag, guessed right, which is at the top of my function. And it starts in, each time I enter the function, it gets reset to false. But if they get one right at all going through here, and it was guessed right. If they don't get one right, then it goes to um, having wrong, number wrong set to my guess. So the first time it would be zero, the next time number wrong will be one, and so forth. So you go through until you hit 12, at which point you lose. So let's try losing the game. We already know that it works to win. All right, so I'm just showing you where the final picture will be. It'll be your job to make that change each time that we guess one wrong. So A, E, I, O, that tells me it's Python, U, L, K, M, T, oh, I think that's actually in there, W, now this doesn't make it, it does not check to see if you've already guessed. So I could use E again, it wouldn't matter. I should know better, I'm showing them. Z and X. At that point, I should lose. So where it shows the guessed letters, you want to also have it increment through the hangman and have the hangman build. So that's the sample, you have a bit to finish. In my Canvas class, I will put a zip copy of the images. I will also publish a PDF of the final code.